Hi friends, happy Sunday to you. <sighs> Rennie's trying to creep my blog. She keeps trying to come in here. Okay, have you guys read The Hunger Games yet? I have um, the second and third book here. I don't have the first one because I brought it from the library and I got so excited. These are the Hunger Games series by Suzanne Collins. This one is Catching Fire and this one's Mocking Jay. I bought this one in the hardback. Can you believe that? It's so expensive. Oh well, I was just really excited about them and they're turning into a movie. But this isn't actually the game I wanted to talk to you about. I wanted to talk to you about a different Hunger Game. This is my weight loss vlog for today. And I gained back my little bit of weight. I gained back like a pound, 1.6 pounds. But I'm not too concerned about it. I'm thinking that um, something water retention wise is happening to me. I know you guys didn't want to hear that, but that's okay. But you need to be a little more gentle on yourself when those things happen. So anyway, what I really wanted to talk about is um, a game that I play, which I play games with housework and weight loss and all sorts of stuff, just because I am a creative person trapped in a mundane life. That's what my friend Julie says. I think it's true. Okay, so this is what you're going to need. Just a second. I'll be right back. Oh, that didn't sound good. Okay, you're going to need a digital scale. You're going to need a calendar. Here's my little calendar with butterflies on it. You're going to need a pack of gum. So here's my pack of gum. And you're going to need a small bag of peanut M&Ms or some other candy that's in little pieces that you like. This is a double bag. I wouldn't suggest getting one of those. The reason you're going to get a small one is because you're not going to eat it all at once and you shouldn't eat it all at once. But if you do have a weak moment and eat it, then you won't have eaten so many peanut M&Ms. Does that make any sense? No. Okay, so what I want you to do is on day one, which could be tomorrow if you want. Now, before I go any further, half of you are going to think this is absolutely stupid. And half of you are going to be like, yeah, yeah, I could implement that in my life. So anyway, let me know if you think that this is not stupid. How about that? <laughs> you can let me know if you think it's stupid too. I don't care. Okay, so get your little calendar and weigh yourself. And that's going to be your day one weight. And write it down on your little calendar. See, so yeah, I've got my weights all written down there. I don't want you to see how much it is. So the first day, that's going to be like your weight ceiling, basically, for the rest of the month. So... Like my weight ceiling is something that ends with a 0 0.8, which oddly enough is the same weight that I weigh today. That's weird. And like 22 weeks ago, I weighed this same exact weight and I was so proud of myself for getting down there. So anyway, but I've still, I've lost like 10.2 pounds by now. Okay, so that's your debt ceiling. So the next day you're gonna weigh yourself again on your digital scale. And then however much weight you lost, like for instance, I did that. And then the next day I lost a pound. So I would give myself 10 M&Ms, which I know sounds counterintuitive, but anyway, just go along with it. Um, so you're going to give you one M&M for every tenth of a pound that you lose. Then the next day, I lost another, let's see, can I do the math, 0. 0.6 pounds, which was good. So I'd give myself six more M&Ms. And the next day, I stayed the same. So I would just give myself a piece of gum that day. Then the next day, I lost some more weight. I got down to an 8.4. Oh, I can't do the math on camera. So, oh, then I'd get like another 8 M&Ms. And the next day I stayed the same, get a piece of gum. The next day I went up. So I went up like 0. 0.6 pounds. So then i get a piece of gum again. The next day I went back down um, 0. 0.4. So I'd get 4 M&Ms. Even though I had gone up and gone down, as long as you're going down, as long as you're below your weight ceiling, you're going to get... Um, candy instead of just gum. And this gum, you have to chew it for an hour. It's like a punishment, but it'll keep you from eating other food. And I don't really like gum, so I just give myself like a half a piece. Anyway, so just keep on playing. You can only have one unopened bag of M&Ms at your house at a time. I don't want you going out and buying the great big two pounder because you might have a weak moment and you might eat the whole thing. So hopefully this will encourage you to have some self-control and it'll just be a fun little thing to do and if you tell anybody about it they will think you're crazy just like half of you think that I'm crazy maybe like three quarters of you think I'm crazy <laughs> anyway but just try it out tell me what you think tell me if you think it's stupid tell me if you think it's not stupid tell me if you think you could um, implement it in your life and we'll just keep on playing okay thanks see you tomorrow bye